In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a vector logo from a previously created bitmap image. First of all, I need to import my scanned logo using the insert picture button and place it on the page. With the image selected, the next step is to open the Auto Trace Studio from the context toolbar. Auto Trace has three tracing options which are optimised to give different results. As I want to trace a logo, I'll choose the Logo Image Trace. To give myself a little more room, I'll just hide the How To pane. Now, I can zoom into the image with the zoom tools. On the right hand side of the studio, you'll see several different controls. These help us to control what the traced image will look like. As there are a few artefacts on my scanned image, I'll slightly increase the minimum area control, as this helps Auto Trace to ignore the artefacts. The next thing to do is to create a user defined palette so that we can tell Auto Trace what colours we want from the image. To select a colour, click on an empty palette swatch and then click on the colour to sample. You'll also need to sample the background colour. Finally, Click Trace. This initial trace isn't bad, but the lines need to be a lot smoother. Now I can tweak the various controls until I get the desired result. This is a bit of trial and error, but a good place to start is by making changes to the edge detection control. I'll increase it. Now I'll click Trace to test the new settings. That's much better. The view buttons at the top of the studio make it easy to compare the original with the trace vector. I'm happy with that, so I'll just click accept. On the page, you'll now see that I have a grouped object made up of different shapes. The first thing I need to do is to ungroup it and delete the white object that made up the page background. I'll now zoom in a little so that I can see my logo better. As my logo is now made up of vector shapes, I can edit it as normal. It's easy to adjust the colour or edit any of the nodes that need tweaking. Once I've finished the edit, I can regroup the logo. To complete my design, I'll add a quick ellipse as a surround. As you can see, I'm using a line colour that I've picked from the logo itself. Now that we have a vector logo, we can resize it to any size without losing quality. If I zoom in, you can see the lines are still sharp at any size. Just remember that you'll need to export your file at the dimensions you need for your publication. If you need more information, see the How To tab, Draw Plus Help, or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.